Good afternoon, Eagle Nick Audits. And I am directly across from the United States Post Office in downtown Dalton. Directly across from the Conasaga Accountability Courts Treatment Center. Whitfield County. This is the county, not the city. County government. But I'm directly across. There goes the Dalton Utilities. We're right up here by the courthouse. But today is April the 8th. Now they say we're going to have a total solar eclipse today. I don't know exactly what time. But they say there's going to be some freaky stuff happening and freaky stuff going on. So I figured I'd stop by. Maybe we might spot that freak I seen up here when I did my first audit. He was three foot tall and six foot wide. He had two noses and he was farting lasers. Both sides of the outside of his nose was pierced. And his hair was 12 inches high and six inches wide and it was a shock of purple hair maybe this person is not want to be filmed but i don't know why they would stop way back maybe they didn't want me to film them but you shouldn't stop like that if you're not trying to draw attention to yourself You can see that this post office does a lot of business to be such a small post office and be so poorly run by an incompetent postmaster who does not even know that it is the law that she is to identify herself when a member of the public asks for her name. You know, she did not even identify herself as the postmaster until within the last two minutes of my video. And I lost that footage where I put her on record after I asked it if the postmaster was in and told her that she needs to get poster seven and study it and learn her job and that I would be back. And that was on February the 9th. On February the 14th, Valentine's Day, I surprised her and stopped in. I was going to the store to buy her and the other lady one rose. The store that I went to only had two roses, and one of them was rotten, so I figured it fit our postmaster just fine because she did a rotten job as postmaster and as a public servant the way she treated me that day. Because you need to realize when she treats me that way, she's treating the public that way. You know, she said in the video that her and her peers, but she doesn't actually have peers. They fear her. They fail to speak out because they don't want to lose their job because she is the highest person here at this post office. She reports directly to the Postmaster General. I went to the East Side Post Office the other day, last Friday, three days ago, and uh, they did not have Poster 7 posted. And the man flipped out in there. And I only left because my phone was about out of space. I did not want my phone to be full and the law, the police come up, me not be able to hold them accountable and record them to give them free reign to do whatever they wanted to without being held in check. But now this post office is located, I'm going to put it in the description and the, the location will actually be listed. You can Google it and get the phone numbers if y'all would like to get in touch with our postmaster up here and what makes her think that she does not have to identify herself and that she can treat the public this way. 
the way she treated Eagle Nick Audits on YouTube and the Eagle Nick on YouTube is the way that she treats all the public. So just imagine how she treats the employees that are under her. There is no telling how many has been fired or quit since she retained the position as postmaster up here. This is Eagle Nick Audits. I hope y'all have a blessed April the 8th. Watch out for that eclipse and watch out for them corrupt, disgruntled public servants that think they are above the public and work for themselves and not for us. This is Eagle Nick and I'm out.